Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia and we're going to talk about American Horror Stories Part 1, Season 10, Episode 6. Did you like the episode? Yeah, I thought so. So my opinion about this is I feel just to be funny. They're like, you know what, let's go with the theme and let the least creative person in the room just like wrap up the season. Let them write the episode i'm just gonna throw that out there right that to me seems like that's what happened because this episode was not it like part one got set up to be like really good last episode like set it up where we're like oh my gosh like what's gonna happen like i need to know and then what we got like a, like i said was not it the episode does start with a board meeting P-Town is having a board meeting where people in the town are coming to get like approval for things like painting and we see Holden and the rest of the council, you know, Martha, who we met in the first episode, like shut it down. They're like, nope, you're not doing this. Nope, you're not bringing in another cheap Irish restaurant into our town. We see Officer Remy come and talk to the council and Chief Burlington was found at the bay and that she was murdered. Not just any type of murder. She was cut up. She was cut up in the neck and she was like missing basically all her blood in her body. And the council hears this. They don't take it serious. They don't take her serious. They, they like just let her know, oh, maybe it was a shark or maybe it was a boat that like cut her up or whatever. And Trooper Remy's like, you guys aren't taking this serious. Like there's weird stuff going on in this town and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. And they like quickly like tell her there's nothing going on in this town. This is a safe town. People know that the winters are crazy, so they stay away. But during the summer, this is a tourist attraction so you're not gonna like put our name out there so that people could stop coming for our buttery lob lobster rolls so yeah that's basically where that goes and then Holden tells the council like hey I'll take care of it but we don't see any of that like well her being taken care of and I'm referring to Remy then we do see Holden go talk to the chemist, Bell and Austin, and he basically tells them, you know, you guys are messy. Like, you guys have been messy this winter. Yeah. Clean up your act or I'm going to get rid of, like, I'm going to put a stop to you guys like I did to a Burger King that was going to be built in this city, this town. But you don't see no Burger King because I don't like no Burger King. I do like Burger King, guys. I worked at Burger King, so no shade to them. Basically, the chemist tells Austin and um, Belle, like, hey, I told you guys to, like, get rid of Harry and his whole family a while ago. Like, what's going on? And Belle's like, I've been so busy. Then we go to Harry's home where Harry's talking to Ursula, who's reading one of his scripts and says, like, this is your masterpiece. This is it. Like, this is gold here and he is so proud of himself and he's like, you know what, this is my masterpiece and after this, I'm not going to take the pill anymore and Alma, you're not going to take the pill anymore. I believe in you. I'm going to be the best dad. I'm going to get you whatever you need, you know, then brings her some vitamins and whatever. And she's like, okay, I'll get off the pill too, dad, whatever that she's on the same boat, but we find out later that she's not. And while this is happening, the baby gets stolen. Harry goes upstairs, checks, baby's gone. He finds a note by Belle Noir to bas that basically says, hey, your baby's fine, but if you don't show up to my house, I'm gonna kill the baby. So we see Alma like say, oh, you coward or whatever, say something bad to someone. And we find out that that person was Ursula. It wasn't to Harry, it was to Ursula because she says, hey, I'm not gonna be going to the house with you guys i got something else planned she actually goes to talk to the pale creatures and she comes over to them and you, we know that ursula's power is like manipulation and she goes and talks to them and they're all being creepy and you know all with their body movements and she's just talking to them telling them you know there's a new pill i have it if you take it you're gonna like get better 
you're gonna get better and take revenge on the other people who you know got the better end of the stick because what happened to you guys you know wasn't fair you guys didn't deserve it so you know just talking to them and then we don't know we don't see what happens but it kind of seems like they're not really getting it because it looks like they're getting so close to her but we find out that actually it did get to them so at Belle's house Harry and Alma show up and the chemist is right there the baby's there Austin is there and they basically say you know what you can't say that we weren't welcoming to you Austin says this to Harry and they basically tell him, like, you know, we're going to end you. Like, this is it for you. But Harry's like, no, you know what? My family's off the pill. Like, we just, I'll just take my kids and go. But then all of a sudden, what happens? The pale people come in. They start attacking Belle and Austin. And this is where they meet their fate. They both get eaten on the neck, which I'm like, I knew it. We knew Belle and Austin were not going to make it past this episode. The chemist grabs the baby, runs. Then Ursula comes to save the day again. She's, you know, shooting, pop, 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 shooting all the pale people dead. Oh, so she saves Harry and Alma, who are like under a table or something. Once that is solved, Harry's telling Alma, you know what, like now it's just going to be the three of us and we're gonna be happy and you know like we're gonna we're gonna be okay we see alma who sticks her teeth into her dad's neck i was not expecting this i was expecting harry to die i thought bell or austin were gonna kill him i wasn't expecting alma to kill him but she is one evil kid i mean i have kids and now i'm like hmm no i'm just kidding my kids my kids would never so then, yeah, she's killing her dad and the chemist and Ursula are just right there. And she tells them, hey, do you mind? Like, I don't like to be stirred at when I am like having my meal. So we know that Ursula, that the chemist decided to take Ursula's deal where she would distribute pills to Ursula so that she can make her boutique because they're living in this nice home, like really nice home and they have a nanny for the baby and everything chemist and alma are watching the news about cops that are like killing people on the streets of la and we it find it turns out that the chemist is actually behind this she's giving the pills to all the racist cops in the city corrupt racist cops you go girl like cleaning up the streets she's doing some extra work cleaning up the people that shouldn't be here right alma tries to call her out like hey you shouldn't be doing this but girl who are you to say anything you like you have any morals you killed your mom and your dad and you tried to kind of kill your brother both ursula and the chemist are kind of just giving the pills out to everybody but it's mostly ursula because we find out that she's going to random starbucks coffee shops to find anybody who looks like a writer to her and the chemist is kind of telling her like hey like it that's not even where writers go. Then Alma makes this remark saying that, who, like, who cares about what happens to all these people? Like, if they're on talent, uh, like, if they don't have any talent, they don't deserve to be here anyway. And Ursula's, like, loving this. She's like, oh, I, I'm so shocked by how, how amazing you are, like, being raised by Harry and that oat milk of your mother, Doris. Poor Doris, like. She's just never going to get a break, right? And um, she like tells her, oh, hey, by the way, I brought you a snack. This part is kind of problematic. Like she brings Alma a, a hustler, which we know what a hustler is. A street worker, a male street worker. Alma goes to, to go eat him at the pool house and he's like shirtless and he's like, oh, this isn't what I'm expect I was expecting. And she's like, me neither, but I'll go with it. And it's just like... Am I am I the being the creepy one or was this part just like uh, like not I don't know I I was like I don't know didn't like it so then she's playing her violin for her audition and she's like doing amazing and then she go little room where they're deciding who they're gonna pick for the part and she meets um I think his name's Rory or something I'm not sure 
who like tries to make like conversation with her but she's like totally full of herself and tells him like hey i'm better than you um and he's like did you even watch my audition and he's she's like no i didn't have to i know that i'm better than you like tells her okay well even if you're better than me like you're not going to get the part because if they give you the part then people are gonna just want to come to see you because you're you know you're gonna steal the show basically from everybody and it's not good for everybody else because then if you're not in the show people are not going to be happy about that so yeah like you're like the bearded lady you're gonna be like a freak you know like something to be on display so you're not gonna get the part and this like triggers alma and kills him and poor poor kid i don't think he was being a jerk i think he was just leveling to her like she was being a jerk so he was being a jerk then switches out to a big classroom where there's a professor giving a lesson about about writing and stuff and then he brings in Ursula gives the pill to everybody because she's ruthless the professor tries to like intervene and say hey 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 I didn't know like this is what you were gonna do and she what does she do she does what Ursula does best she puts him in his place and she's like hey who are you gonna listen to me or this guy who's like nobody like yeah he's teaching this class but he's not successful my clients Harry has been successful. I can help you guys. So we see that a lot of people take the pill because we see LA like is a massacre. People, all these untalented people who took the pill are like now eating everybody. And the chemist is just in her car with poor baby Eli who's crying. So she tells him, we're gonna get, go to another place. We're gonna start over. She even calls himself her his mommy. So I'm like thinking like, wasn't Ursula his mommy? And all of a sudden you're his mommy. Where is Ursula and Alma? Like this destruction in this city and you're just taking baby Eli, but leaving Ursula and Alma. So what happened there? We don't even get like the end of that. And the chemist does tell baby Eli, like, hey, we're going to make another pill. Like, maybe this pill can help you live forever. So we know that she's not done with her experimenting, even though she did say that she was done. Like, she could be done because she has all the money now and she doesn't have to, like, work anymore. But I guess this is just for her, for her, whatever she wants to do, because she she can. She can make another pill if she wants so that's the end of the episode and i was not satisfied like i wanted answers to things just like you guys like but then we didn't see doris like why didn't she why wasn't she one of the pale people that came up to attack austin and bell what happens to ursula and alma now like i can't even think but i know there's a lot of things that were just unanswered and the ending was just not not it but i'm still gonna watch part two because i feel like, like this still needs to tie up like there was no mention of aliens or sea creatures so i'm just gonna watch part two and hope that it's a better ending or a better explanation of things and that the season like does wrap up better so if you liked my video, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Thank you guys for watching so much. Bye.